Let's start by chatting with perhaps the most rugged wrestler ever to appear on these shores, the one, the only, the beast. Yeah, Gary. Well, it's nice to be here, Gary. And uh, you know there's one thing in my mind that I want to straighten out, and I'm sure a lot of people are seen to wrestling want to know why. And that here, the thing that I want to do is Ron Starr. He's talking about a bounty on his head. He's got money. I'm not interested about money. The only thing that I want to do, only thing that I would always done when I went into ring is to fight till the last drop of blood would come out. I will fight, 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 and beat you so bad that you won't need no money or you won't be thinking about collecting nothing. The only thing you'll be thinking about is sleeping for a long, long time. Leo Burke must be uh, quite a thrill to have uh, the beast back as well. Well, there's no sense denying it. I'm very, very happy to have him back as a bodyguard, so to speak. Uh, he always was my number one man. I owe everything that I've earned in this wrestling to my brother, the beast, and I'm very happy to have him as a brother as well. Now, I'd like to say I'm going to put this on the side for right now, and Cuban and I are going to go after more important things. That's the tag team belt held by Bob Brown and Rick Valentine. <laughs> 